another question from Rudrish. Once Saudi and Gulf oil money runs out, do you see the Islam Cold War shift from Saudi versus Iran to Turkey versus Iran? Hmm. Hmm. Just most most of medieval period. I'm not sure what that refers to. I think um, the best way to look at it is like three sources of um, authority in, in the Islamic political world, right? You have the um, the Muslim Brotherhood elk, which would be Turkey, uh, Qatar, um, Turkey and Qatar, right? And now Azerbaijan, I guess, even though they're Shia, which is weird. Um, but they're now allied with Turkey. I guess they're in that camp, right? So the, let's just say the Turkey Qatar camp, right? And then you have the what was what we used to refer to as the Wahhabi camp. I guess now we have to refer to them as the monarchy camp. I guess right now, given that they're trying to wash off their Wahhabi branding. <laughs> no, we call right? them we call them the washed out Wahhabis. How about that? Washed out Wahhabi. That camp would be. Um, Saudi Arabia, the UAE, and Egypt, right? Um, and then we have the Vilayat Faqih Shia Islam, right? Which is like centered in Tehran and Qom. And that would be the Islamic Republic of Iran, um, Hezbollah, I guess Assad, um, the Houthis. That would be the third force, the f third powerful political force in in Islam, right? In the world of Islam. So, when you look, when you're looking at the dec decline of, you know, oil, you maybe like you should that whole angle of the Washad Wahhabi axis is. It's not like it might be shifting the power more from like something like Saudi Arabia to the UAE. Dep you know, like it's not like that entire access is going to wait. Maybe internal shifts of power is going to be happening, right? Um, it's, that depends. You know, all of this depends on how successful Vision Twenty Thirty is going to be, right? So that's. Um, I don't know if you can bet on Turkey right now, especially right now. Like, look at oh where my the Euro god, is going. yeah. <laughs> like, Have you seen the? I mean, of course you've seen the the charts. Like the yes. graphs are shocking. Yeah, so I don't know if you want to be like, like oh, oh the, my God. the price of oil is falling. Will Turkey pick up where Saudi Arabia is left off? I mean, Lira is falling right now faster than the price of oil. <laughs> so I don't know if that's a, I don't know. But this is such a self-owned, by the way, right? Like by Turkey. Like there is no better, the, okay, the best examples I have in, in history, like I have been talking about um, bad economic policies in Turkey because of religion, for the past uh, five or six years, right? But now it's coming to a crescendo and everything I've said before is now coming uh, to fruition. Like you're seeing the results, right? But because the two best examples I have for why, when people think about the cost of religion, they just mostly see, when they think Islam, they see explosions and suicide bombings, right? And then when they think about Christianity, the main thing that comes to their mind is child you know, abuse by priests, right? And I'm like, you know, those are horrible, obviously, but when it comes to aggregate harm, um, what people don't take into account, like because a smaller amount of harm everywhere, but the aggregate amount is going to be a lot more, is is more is things that people don't think about, doesn't capture the news as much as it is, you know, uh, you know, like for example, I was thinking about the Pope um making the condoms, right? Like uh, saying the condoms are bad, like the effect of that in Africa and the Philippines, the aggregate harm from that was like so much, so much more massive than people, what people talk about when it comes to the harm of, harm of Christianity. When it comes to Islam, stuff like, you know, Turkey Erdogan's having the idea, like, okay, I always knew, you know, we always knew like that the whole in increasing interest, um, you know, reducing interest rates in Turkey is an Islamic thing, okay? Because they're against interest, they're against, Usury, like how, how do you say it? Like in religious terms, right? Usury, um, it's called the riba. Usury, riba, yes. Um, but instead of making that point, the main point that they were all trying to make in Turkey was lower interest rates is actually <laughs> good for inflation, it reduces inflation. Like, um, they were like every single, like against every single economic theory out there, right? Which is absolutely insane, right? But now, like, now that the lira is dropping so like a rock, now Erdogan is coming out and saying like, you know, I can't increase interest rate because it's like it, because it is against Islam. 
think about how much how many people will have to suffer economically uh, because of making political decisions based on sharia like it's insane it's absolutely insane by the way i know already that some people are going to go find a people who are going to benefit from this because whenever currency values drop you are going to find examples of people who benefit from this obviously like um ex people who are doing exports out of turkey they're going to benefit from this because now everything they have is that from a discount right but people are going to find small examples to show like you know not small examples but they're going to find examples to show like actually this was a good thing that's what Erdogan is going to do but overall you can't make this like this is going to be horrible for turkey and also turkey's empire building admissions trying to bring back the ottoman empire that requires lira to be strong right because you're spending outside of your borders right so yeah maybe exports will go up but how are you going to keep funding your ambitions in libya you know your ambitions in I don't know, even Afghanistan recently with the airport. Where else did they uh, involved in? And, you know, everywhere. Um, yeah, in, in Yemen, I think they wanted to be able, like mostly Libya. Oh, Syria, right? Syria, Libya, and everywhere else. Like there. Oh, and Azerbaijan. The main three ones are Azerbaijan, Syria, and Libya. These ambitions that you have outside of your borders, how are you going to afford that with your lira dropping like a rock? Right? So I don't know if Turkey is going to be a great. I hope they get rid of Erdogan. Like, come on, Turkey. Come on, Turkey, you can get rid of this man. This guy is ruining your country. Atheist Republic needs your help. We have been the target of many legal attacks by Hindu nationalists ever since our founder, Armin Avabi, blasphemed against Hindu deities. We have retained legal counsel to help us defend our access to our community in India. We have started a fundraiser that will help us afford to tackle many legal issues, including judicial harassment and censorship. Whatever you can contribute will go a long ways in helping us in this fight. Link in the description below.